Wow. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we inside this kitchen, this traditional African kitchen right here. You can tell the smoke and everything, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're using firewood as a source of fuel to prepare this food. So I wanna be showing you one of the best foods here in the village, how to prepare it. And that's Grace. You can hi say yeah. hi. <laughs> yeah guys, Grace, she's selecting the the beans, you know, she's selecting the beans from the good ones. Yeah. So it is what it is. I hope you enjoyed this video till to the end. Kindly give it give the video a like because that's the best way to appreciate the video. You know, so this is how we prepare this food. Actually it is a mix. We're preparing what are we preparing? It is corn and beans. Corn and beans mm. or maize, maize and, and beans. beans. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah guys, we call this food that we are preparing Gideri. Actually, it is one of the lovable foods here in the village because people always, it tends to be super strong, you know, the body. So this is how we prepare it. The bubbles right here, wow. So approximately, how does it take? How long does it take to prepare If it this is food? dry, it takes like two hours. It will be ready two to three hours maybe. Wow, <laughs> two, to, two to three hours, our food will be ready, guys. If know? it is dry. If it is dry. Yeah. So basically, she's telling me if the corn is dry, it takes long, the corn or the maize, it takes long to get cooked, you know. But when it is wet, or if it is not, dry it takes a shorter time right yeah mm -hmm. yes. wow this is how life it is in the village guys and i always <laughs> urge you people just to visit the village life to experience this kind of life actually it is enjoyable you know yeah wow and one of the things that i love about the village guys actually life here it is very cheap and affordable actually you can spend less a dollar in a day here in the village is it true what i'm saying yeah mm -hmm. it's true because we, we don't buy other stuffs mm -hmm. but we have the like now the maize we mm -hmm. we just uh, the more find it from the garden wow <laughs> can you <laughs> even the beans mm -hmm. even the beans we have to plant the beans mm -hmm. so we don't buy yeah guys yeah. Yeah, that's true. Life in the village is so cheap. You can't compare life in the village with that of the city or town, you know. In town, things are super expensive. Like for me, when I stay in Nairobi, I always find it very difficult, like spending money every single day. But when I'm in the village here, life is chill, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. So this is how basically we prepare food and first we, we have to put the corn to boil first mm -hmm. like uh, 30 minutes and then we'll add the beans the beans yes. right here yes. so she's selecting the the good ones you know yeah wow and this is firewood guys actually they are the main source of oil here in the village <laughs> wow <laughs> why do people prefer using firewood rather than electric <laughs> Like myself, it is. A, it seems like it is quick mm -hmm. because you put like a, now these are three to four firewood. Mm -hmm. But uh, while you're preparing with the gas, you wait a bit longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And actually, guys, for my understanding, actually the food tastes sweet <laughs> compared to <laughs> when you use the electric cookers. And also the firewood, it is affordable, guys. They are cheap, you know. We have bushes around, so we can find firewood from everywhere. Like it is so cheap and affordable, you know, compared to the electric cooks that people use, you know. Yeah, wow. This is our kitchen. This is the kitchen that we are roofing, guys. I think tomorrow it wanna be ready and. I can't wait to show you the progress, the new look of this place. <laughs> yeah, this is how everything looks like here. We're so blessed. We thank God for everything. The sun is out. You can tell. Wow, that's the sunrise there directly. It's early in the morning. We're shooting this video early in the morning here. 
Wow, so it's time for us to wash the beans. You can see, guys, and actually, you can tell the bad beans always float on water. Wow. So right here, this is cooking oil that we use for preparing these food, you know. So, wow. After adding the oil, you want to add the, the onions right here, you know. Wow. And we use this for cooking this cooking stick mm. have to wait for a while for the onions to turn golden brown you know the color golden brown after that you want to add some tomato right here wow So after stirring, we want to add some salt just to add flavor on our food. Wow. And this is a kind of spice. I don't know how it is called. You can tell mixed spices right here. Yeah, and we want to add some, a little bit of it. Wow. Just to make our, our food look amazing and just sweet after mixing the spices we want to cover the sufuria or the cooking pot for five minutes and then our food wanna be ready so this is how we lit fire guys we're using this pipe to light the fire Wow guys, look at this. You can tell our food is ready because of the bubbles. Yeah, when you see the bubbles like that, that's a sign of the, it is ready, the food is ready. Wow. So. Wow. Do you love what you sing right here? <laughs> so guys. Yeah, this is how we prepare this food. It is called Gideri in a local language here. Yeah, actually, it is a Swahili word. Let me get in the comment section below what you call this kind of food. Actually, it is very delicious and people love it because you can go for long hours without feeling like you are angry. So people prefer this, especially those people who work so hard. Yeah, they prefer taking this kind of food. Deep. Wow, that's it. <laughs> Preparing the local food here that people love, you know. Yeah, that's how we prepare it. And I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate. And right here, these are groundnuts from the shamba or the farm. You see, green groundnuts. Wow. And I want to show you another one right here. We just covered them like this to avoid the chickens from eating or destroying them. Yeah, guys, you can tell. These are groundnuts right here. Yeah, that's how life is here in the village. And I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate more videos are coming from the village, but soon. 
I wanna be leaving my village, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I wanna say goodbye. See you in my next video, guys. Greetings from my home. Bye-bye.